All right, so right now we're going to go over the calendar app, and it comes with your iPad, so you don't have to download anything. Uh, it's pretty simple. You get into it, and it shows you the date right here, like Wednesday, September 14th. That's the big 14 right here. Um, it, it has a full month calendar right here, and it'll show, like, what day it is, like, through this blue box. Um, pretty much, and you can flip days, stuff like that. Down here is a little meter that will show you, like, you can skip to a certain day. Like, I just skipped the, the 25th. But if you want to go back to the today, you just press this button down here, and it'll bring you back to the today. So this is pretty good. This is a pretty good app if you want to make events to keep organized. Like right here, I made an event. It says make video, which is what I'm doing right now. So it all your events for the day will come up here in this box over here. And this is essentially just a 24-hour uh, event calendar where it'll just show like what time you're supposed to be doing what. And to add an event, you click this plus sign down here. And this little thing will pop up. So you pretty much just type in the title, like whatever you're going to be doing. Location here, wherever you're going to be doing it. Um, and right here it says starts, ends. So you'd hit that and it would bring you to like the days of the like month. Um, and then these meters are the times that it would be happening. So you would just change it to whatever, say I have something tomorrow at 6.15, I would just hit done, and that would be the start end time. And if I want it to repeat, I would just hit repeat. Not that. I'd hit repeat, and whatever I want every day, every week, every two weeks. Um, alert, if you want it to make a sound before the event. And then... This, this notes will just essentially tell you can just type in anything that you want there. So that's pretty much just for you. The other thing is with starts, ends, you can have an all day event. So if you turn that on, it'll just be like a day, a certain day. And it just assumes that it's going to be, the event will be all day. So it'll just give you a heads up or whatever. So you hit done, hit done, and now that new event popped up. See here it says all day, so it's just supposed to be all day, so it's not going to highlight the entire thing. Um, there's also weekly, right here, month that you can go to, and list that you can go to. Those are pretty much basic. So, yeah, that's it.